PTC added some nice intelligence to the mirror functionality in assemblies in Creole Parametric 4.0. But to explain that to you, first I'm going to show you how mirror worked in Creole Parametric 3.0 and earlier. And first off, I just ran model check on this assembly to find out that there are 462 unique components and a total of 736 different parts and assemblies. And obviously a bunch of these parts can be reused in the mirrored version of the assembly. But in Creo Parametric 3.0, when I go to create the mirrored assembly using file, save as, save a mirror assembly, uh, in the dialog box, you can turn on geometry dependent, and you can turn on a preview to see how PTC or Creo Parametric is going to mirror this assembly. Then when I click the OK button, it does some thinking and then it comes back and tells me, hey, here we have the assembly that you want to mirror. And you can select for certain components like, you know, oh, you know what, this wheel over here, I can probably reuse that. I could then click the drop down list and choose reuse. And by the way, by the default, it is mirroring all these different components in here. And it's giving me an error that tells me, hey, you know, I'm trying to automatically rename these with underscore MIR at the end of the name. And I can go and say, hey, you know what, that's just a clip. Probably can reuse that one as well. Or you could say for other different components, you could exclude them. But the bottom line is, it's kind of a pain going through when the default is mirror geometry for all these different components to decide what I want to reuse or exclude or what actually needs to be mirrored. So let's cancel out of here, not actually going to do the mirror. And I'm going to switch over to Creo Parametric 4.0, which I'm also running. Let's go to File, Save As and save a mirror assembly. And you'll notice that you get quite a bit more in the dialog box. You can specify the name and also give it the common name at this time. And here we have that geometry dependence control. And here's the big one. We have the ability to perform a symmetry analysis. So let's click that button. And if I expand the option underneath here, it's going to reuse symmetric components by default. And it's going to consider solids. And if you want to, you could also include quilts, datums, and curves. And I'm going to click the advanced button. And now the analysis has completed. And here we have the mirror assembly components dialog box. And you'll notice that the position of a bunch of these components is listed as smart. And it's automatically figured out which components are symmetric and is reusing this. And so it's going to save me a lot of time and effort and also just make it a lot faster. I don't have to pick and choose and figure out which ones I want to mirror and which ones I don't. And then all I need to do is click the OK button and the mirrored assembly will be created. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you.